All right, so um, today we're gonna do the final part of the manual conversion. Um, that involves putting the pedals in and the hydraulics, so the Clutch Master and Clutch Slave. So the VL Commodore being a, a factory production car, it already has all the provisions in the car itself for you to convert it to, uh, to manual. So what I mean by that is the pedal box itself. The pedal box between an auto and manual VL Commodore um, is the same. So the differences are that the automatic brake pedal is larger, um, the manual brake pedal is smaller, and obviously you have a, have a clutch pedal as well. So the pedal box that's already in this car does have the provision uh, for a clutch pedal to hook straight up to it, uh, providing that you have all the attachment hardware. So what I need to do to this car now is I need to remove the automatic brake pedal because it's larger, it's got a larger uh, foot pad. So I need to remove that and then I need to install um, the manual brake pedal which is smaller and the clutch pedal. I have heard of people um, just cutting down uh, the brake pedal to suit, getting the angle grinder down there. Yeah, that'll work. Um, but. I have the pedal, so I might as well use it. Um, it is a pain in the ass. You can swap the complete pedal box if you do have one, but you've got to pull a lot more of the dash apart, and that's a nightmare, so I would suggest avoid that. What you do have to do, however, to get a little bit of access, even though there's stuff all already, is um, there's a like an air conditioning duct or a vent duct underneath the dash you need to disconnect that it kind of just clips into each other and also the steering column itself so there's a couple bolts that hold it up underneath the dash and if you undo those bolts and you can loosen uh, the steering col column and drop it down by dropping it down at the front here you actually uh, get some access uh, to the pivot points and the attachment points where the pedals connect um, so it just saves you a lot of heartache and it's pretty straightforward to do. Mind you, like I said, this job's still a pain in the ass. Um, I've been putting it off, but I've got to do it. Um, I guess you could take the seat out, give you a bit more room. I normally just lay awkwardly on my back and kind of work like this and, you know, fumble around for a bit until I get it all sorted. Um, I've got my pedals all cleaned up, painted, looking nice. Um, got my clutch master and slave cylinder down here. I'll show you guys quickly. So, clutch pedal, uh, pin, spring, uh, washers and spring clips and all that kind of stuff. Brake pedal, spring, pin, all that kind of stuff. Um, and clutch master, clutch slave. Um, in the firewall, there's already a hole for your clutch master, so you don't have to cut a hole, and there's already two bolts there with threads. You just need to take it out, take the uh, rubber grommet out, and that thing will slide back, slide through. I'll do that last, because I don't want the, um, the push rod off the uh, clutch master getting in my road. So I'll do pedals first, and then, then I'll do that. So, So as you can see here, this is what I'm talking about. The automatic pedal is a lot larger. Um, and I don't think we can see it, but just underneath here, there's a um, an air conduct and that just kind of joins in the middle and you just pull that apart. And the bolts for the steering column are um, just up under here. And then this, this steering column will just drop down. So, I guess I should finally stop uh, procrastinating about it and get stuck into it.
one brake pedal out so that only took me about 15 minutes so i'm pretty stoked about that so so far things are looking good um let's see how fast i can get this back together so here you can see the differences between the two uh brake pedals so uh, it's just the, f the foot pad um so yeah like i said i've got it might as well swap it over instead of cutting down that one so All right, so that's a win. Brake pedal's in. Obviously, I need uh, to fill up the uh, brake fluid and bleed the brakes and all that kind of stuff, but everything's in, all the attachment hardware, spring and all that kind of stuff, it's all done. Pain in the ass, like I said. Um, didn't swear, but I had to fumble around a little bit to get everything in and sorted. There's just not enough room. Don't have enough hands. Um, yeah is what it is so moving on now to the clutch pedal um similar but yeah should be a lot easier so let's get that sorted now Clutch pedals in, it was an absolute nightmare, but I got it done. Took way longer than expected, but hey, you get that on the big jobs. Brakes in, pedals in, just need to hook up the uh, hydraulics now. So I'll pop the bonnet and get that done. Right, so if you look down here, you can see there's already the hole for the master cylinder. And then um, there's two bolt holes there or two bolts i should say um so you just got to remove those bolts there's already threads there and then bolt your master cylinder in so happy days All right, cool, so master cylinder is in, pretty straightforward, two bolts. Now I just gotta hook up the master cylinder push rod to the back of the pedal, and that's pretty much done. I'll do the slave to the gearbox another day. Get on my back one last time and sort this out. Awesome clutches in, um, aircon ducts back in, and I have uh, bolted up the steering column, so that's all good. 
just got to put the stick in and then connect up the slave cylinder and bleed it and that's manual conversion done so pretty sure i need to uh jump the park brake uh safety switch um so it'll start but yeah stoked very happy so definitely not the most exciting video but had to be done pedals had to go in nightmare of a job uh took a good couple of hours from start to finish um got everything in very happy a few more things to uh button up for the manual conversion side of things uh, as i said before I, I was putting that off and putting that off and putting it off but i'm glad i got it done feels good and move on to the next so heaps more to do stay tuned be safe peace